Hi FlossTube, this is me. Uh, my name is Stephanie. Um, Stephanie and Stitches is what I'm calling my channel. Um, I decided that I would try to make a YouTube video uh, for FlossTube. So it's probably gonna be pretty short. I don't have that much to show. Um, plus I'm really new to this video making thing, obviously. Um, but I'm gonna start off with the know your needle worker tag we'll see how that goes i'm also going to try to look at the lens of the camera and not myself which is going to be hard um so start out where do you live i live in orlando florida um i'm about five minutes away from universal studios lots of traffic lots of tourists um but it is what it is uh what do i do for a living I am a middle school intensive reading teacher. I've been teaching for six years, um, and that's my day job. Um, I'm trying to get out of the classroom, and hopefully when I do, I will get to announce it to all of you uh, with my new career change. Um, what are your three favorite hobbies other than cross-stitching? Three. Um, I'm a crafter. In general, I've been crafting for many, many years. Um, my mother was a needlepoint designer, so at a very early age, she had me needlepointing and cross-stitching. Um, I even dabbled in designing and painting the needlepoint canvases with her. Um, I crochet. I like to make dolls. Um, I'm really into horror movies. I love horror movies. Um, so I make little scary, creepy dolls or a Freddy Krueger doll or Jason, something like that. Um, and I do enjoy reading. I don't have a lot of time, but I, I do enjoy reading when I do get time. Do I have any kids? Um, I do not have any children of my own, but I do have a stepson. Um, that who does not live with us. Do you have any pets? I do have a pet. Um, I have a cat named Alice. Um, not Alice in Wonderland, Alice from Resident Evil. I like horror movies. Um, and she's around here somewhere. She may hop up on my table and be ridiculous. I wanna get it in my face and say hello to all of you. We'll see what happens. Um, what is my favorite movie? I don't have one favorite. Um, I do have maybe a top five. Um, I'll go with American History X, The Usual Suspects, Jaws. Um, I do love Scream and Shaun of the Dead. Um, what is your favorite TV show? I don't watch TV. I probably should have come up with something for that one, but I didn't. Uh, what is your favorite music? I like rock. Um, really, one of my favorite bands is Slipknot. Um, it's, if, for those of you who don't know, it's pretty hard Arr, metal. Um, but I also like the, the lead singer, Corey Taylor, has another band that's a little more mellow, Stone Sour. I like that band a lot too, Linkin Park, unfortunately, uh, Port Chester. Um, he's no longer with us. Uh, yeah, um, let's see. What is my favorite book? Um, because I teach middle school reading, I read a lot of younger um, books. Uh, but regardless of that, I do love the Harry Potter series. Um, I'm currently rereading the series with my husband. We're kind of nerds that way. Um, <laughs> see what is the one word that describes you the best I always say weirdo I'm a little I'm a little on the weird side and I'm okay with that but uh you know I guess everyone's a little weird in their own ways but weirdo we're going with weirdo um and what is your favorite food um I love pizza but I'm also um if you offer me Mexican any day of the week, 
I'm gonna take it because I like it all the days. Anyways, okay, so that is the needle worker tag that I found. I don't know if I did the right one or if there's a newer one, but that's a little bit about me. Um, I've been watching Floss Tube for probably about a year off and on. Um, I do have some people that I do watch on a pretty regular basis. Some of them I just found recently and I'm trying to catch up. Um, but I do love Coffee Stitcher. Um, I think he does great work. Um, and I like that his videos are kind of short so that, you know, if I don't have a lot of time, I can catch one real fast. Um, Stash Queen, obviously. Um, I've, I, I have no words. I have no words. There's no way I could keep up with her. Um, all of her whips and <laughs> um, she has some really awesome things going on pretty much all the time. Um, and a lot of stash, obviously. Um, I love, love, love D Squared. Those two women, I, I, they're adorable. They are adorable. I just love them so much. Um, Vanna. The twist, uh, the twisted stitcher. She is amazing. Um, I kind of want to be like her when I grow up because she's fabulous at everything she does, and she's so positive all the time. So, Vanna, if you ever happen to see my video, um, hi, you're so cute, and I love you. Um, and just keep stitching, Pam and Steph. Um, those two lovely ladies, I just discovered about two weeks ago, and I've been trying to binge watch their videos. Um, again, <laughs> their relationship is super cool. Um, kind of makes me sad. Um, makes me miss my mom. My mom's, or, you know, she's alive. Uh, let me not mislead you. She just doesn't live near me. And so we're not as close as we used to be. Um, but it's, it's adorable to watch their, uh, words are hard, to watch their videos. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna get started with what you hopefully wanted to see. And that is the cross stitching. Um, I'm gonna start out with whips. I don't have that many, um, but we'll see. Uh, first thing is, and I'm trying to stay organized, so don't mind me while I get into my little bags, which I don't know who or where I came, found this or came up with, so if anyone, if this is your idea, thank you. Um, or if you know whose idea this was, please comment and tell me so I can thank them. Um, but I use these little pencil pouches for my small little projects. Um, it's easy for me to fit into my purse or anything else. Um, so whoever did this or came up with it or posted it or whatever, thank you. Um, yeah. So my first is called Antique Locks and Keys by Shakespeare's Peddler. Glare, uh, I apologize. Um, but that's the little pattern. It's really super cute. I'm not very far on it, but this is what I have finished. And I kind of goofed because I know I'm supposed to tell you like the fabric count and what type of fabric it is, all that good stuff, the color. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. Um, it's nothing fancy, though, that I can tell you. Um, I haven't reached fancy yet. I'm working on it. Just haven't done it. Um, let's see. I'm also doing... Um, this one is for my husband. Oh, this is another one kind of thing. Um, it's a document holder from Walmart. It's 97 cents, but it's perfect for these like larger um, eight and a half by 11. <clears throat> but I'm working on this one. This is called American Pride. And it's, I can tell I don't do videos because this is showing up backwards. Hopefully it won't. Um, by RETM. Um, my husband saw it at our LNS and was like, hey, you should stitch this. And I said, okay, so I'm working on it. I have not gotten very far. Um, and I'm just doing it on a light blue Ada. That I know. Um, 
and hopefully I'm showing this to the right side, but, or the right way. But that is where I've gotten. Not very far, but it is what it is. Um, I also have, this is actually something that I'm designing. Um, it's a little Christmas ornament sampler. I don't know what we want to call it yet, but I'm working on it. Um, it's my little Christmas pattern. Um, I did the tree and the part of the stocking. Um, this is, I don't know. Um, I am using over dies on this. Um, I am using Classic Colorworks in Cupid and I believe Classic Colorworks um, Mistletoe is the green. So that's, that's what I'm working on. Um, hopefully have that finished soon. So let's see, I did that, that I'm making notes. I, cause, cause notes, I don't know. Seems like the good thing to do. Okay, um, I do have a couple of finishes that I actually have. Um, most of the time things that I stitch, I end up giving away to people. So I have pictures, but they're on my phone, which is what I'm recording on. So I can't show you. Um, but again, um, the only things I really have are things that I've designed myself. Um, this is my little brooms shop. My plan is to design a whole Halloween witch town. Um, so that's my brooms shop. And then I also just did this one, like the Christmas one I just showed you. Um, I did a Halloween one and this is actually, I think I decided on calling it, um, a witch's tools of the trade. So hopefully the color is turning out nicely. Okay. Um, that's finishes. Um, since it's my first video, um, I'm not, obviously I don't really know what to do, stash, haul, I don't know. So I picked a couple of things that I'm really excited about and I want to show you those. So hopefully you'll like it. Um, I'm pretty new to the over dyed, uh, floss. Normally I stitch with DMC. Um, Excuse me for one second. Remember when I said I like horror movies? My Freddy. My Freddy mug. My Freddy mug. Anyways. Okay. So I like this one. It is Classic Color Works Cupid. Really, really pretty. Um, also, I like Classic Color Works Rainy Day. Really, really pretty purples. Um, Classic Color Works Smoke. It's like a, to me it looks like a purpley gray. And then I am in love with the Gentle Art Lagoon. And the Gentle Art Marine, <laughs> words are hard, guys. Marine, Mediterranean Sea. And then a couple of uh, Weeks Dye Works that I picked up that I enjoy. I uh, haven't done anything with it yet, but I liked it. This is Ladybug. And this, this is Julian and don't know what on earth I am gonna do with this beautiful floss but I'm gonna figure it out promise and it could be awesome I'm hoping I'm hoping it's awesome okay um so then on to some patterns that I really um, I love and I'm gonna start soon <sighs> soon 
Um, let's see, the Country Cottage need Needle Works October Cottage. Um, because I love horror movies, I also am a really huge fan of Halloween. And October is my favorite month. I love fall. Um, even though in Florida we don't really get fall. Um, but anyways, I love this. It is super cute. Um, I love the colors. Uh, October. I It's October, guys. Um, also, for my love of horror, um, I love to scream. Um, look at it. It's ghost face. Ghost face. Okay. And spider. Uh, the spider charm. He's like, he's there. I'm not a big fan of spiders. Um, so I probably won't put that in there. But the pattern is super cute. Um, I got this one. So, see what had happened was, is I bought this for, to make for my husband's birthday. It came out awful, guys. Um, I literally stopped just with this little knot because the fabric that I bought was cheap. Even weave from Michael's or Joann's, I can't remember, and it was not even, and um, it came out really wonky. It was like short and fat instead of square. Um, so it was really sad, and I may do this again when I find better fabric, um, or I may not, and it just may sit, sit, and I'll never do anything again with that. But, um, excuse me. Okay, um, then I got this cute little guy. Um, Halloween Stitch Along, three part, this is part one. I got this at my LNS. Um, my LNS is Needle Orts. It's in Altamont Springs, Florida. Um, if you ever come down to Florida, if you're if you live in Florida and you don't know of any shops, go there. They're awesome. They're cute, nice ladies and sir who work there. Um, but yeah, this is really super cute. They only had part one, or I would have bought all three parts. Um, so I'm kind of waiting. Have not started on that yet. And this is. Little House Needleworks, Early Americans. This is number two, John Hancock. Um, I love these. They are so flippin' cute. Um, I had to, I had to jump on the bandwagon and I think I'm a little late on it, but it's okay. It's okay, I'm okay with it. Um, but it's super cute and I'm gonna start this sometime soon. It's gonna be awesome. And then I have, let's see, this is Three Gables from the Cricut Collection. Um, I actually started this, but I don't like it, so I'm not going to show it to you. Um, I have about, like, that much stitched. Um, yeah. Because um, I decided, like, hey, I'm going to do this in DMC, and then I said, no, I don't like it. So I'm going to eventually get the called for threads. Um, and then this is a, this is a, another cute one. It's called, um, All in a Night's Work by Cherished Stitches, um, Louise Henderson. Look it. Okay. Please. Yeah. Um, I just love her. She is super, super cute. Can you, there we go. Maybe. And the kitty. I love black cats. Um, my cat Alice is not black. She's a calico, uh, white mostly, but that one, kitty's cute. All right, guys. And then this is my love, um, and I need help. So my husband, knowing how much I love Halloween, picked up this beauty for me. Yep, there it is. Halloween Quaker, um, Lila Studio. Oh, holy cow. Um, this is a lot to take on. 
and I'm really excited about it. I bought the fabric for it, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to commit to doing the whole piece together or if I want to break it up and just do like, I could do the houses as one little small piece and then maybe the witch as one little small piece and then just take a couple of these little, like look at this little, look at this. A little skeleton motif, how cute. How flippin' cute. And again, a black kitty. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about it. Um, if you could, if you wanna throw your opinions, if you could comment and uh, maybe tell me what you think I should do, if I should just take it slow and steady and do the whole piece at once or just break it up into small. Um, or if you have a different idea, that would be cool. Um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Um, okay, I think that that's about it for me. I'm 21 minutes in. I think it's long enough. Um, thank you guys for watching if you're still watching. Um, I'm really excited, hopefully, to continue to be a part of the floss tube community. Um, if you liked what you see and want to see more of my stitching and my designs, I'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Um, thanks, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. Bye.